Hello, I'm the Sonoran Desert Grower. Today, I'm going to walk you through my 150 gallon Rubbermaid stock tank sub irrigated planter. This is the way to grow in a container garden in the dry land environment. What I'm doing here is setting up a water reservoir which is filled up or made up of lava rock and I use clay pots for my wicking chambers and a three quarter inch copper tube for my overflow tube and I use a three quarter inch uni seal to make that a watertight fit so there's no leaking happening. So this is the water reservoir, the wicking chambers and the overflow tube on the bottom. So this is how you build it. You put three clay pots in there and then you fill with lava rock around the clay pots. And you wanna get it all the way to the top of the clay pots to around the rim of the clay pot. And that makes your water reservoir and your wicking chambers. Right here you're seeing me measure for the overflow tubing. I cut it at around 36 inches and that gives you just enough overhang so that's not in the way but the water can get out. Here you're seeing me cut the copper tube with an angle grinder. I'm putting in a 45 degree cut and I'm going to clean it up so there's no sharp edges. This is the hole that I'm drilling for the 3 quarter inch uni seal. I clean up the plastic bits with the Leatherman so I have a nice uh, fit with the uni seal. After you got the hole cleaned up, pop the uni seal in there. It can be hard but just push it in there and you should hear an audible pop. Next step is to uh, wet the copper tube, the part that's going in there with the 45 end, and slide it in. Uh, at a certain point, I had to go in, in the inside of the tank to pull it all the way through. While all this is going on, you want to be soaking your coconut husk. I like using a mix of fiber and husk and fine pith core. It takes at least a half hour for these bricks to expand to a point where you can break them up. So you want to get these going as soon as possible so that you don't fall behind in your install and gain your planter filled up with high quality potting mix. time to fill up our planters with our potting mix. The recipe I use is one part high quality compost, one part coconut husk, and one part lava rock, a half part vermiculite, a whole bag of worm gold plus worm castings, one pound of alfalfa meal, and one pound of kelp meal. Now this is for a 150 gallon Rubbermaid stock tank. You're going to end up using about 3 to 4 bricks of coconut husk. The way I make the mix is I, I put the compost, lava rock and coconut husk together and then I sprinkle in the vermiculite, the alfalfa kelp and worm casting as we're filling up the stock tank. That way I get good distribution of minerals and vermiculite and I have a very high quality potting mix. Thank you for watching the video. If you're digging this content, please subscribe to this channel, like, comment, and share a video with a friend that could use this information.
head on over to www.patreon.com the sonoran desert grower i'm doing a monthly seed giveaway of seeds that i've grown drought tolerant seeds subscribe to the patreon channel for exclusive content every month i'm going to be uploading a awesome video that's going to be just for the patreon members to check out as always i'm available for all your growing and soil building needs hit me up we can set up a remote consultation training you can bring me out to your town and i'll train the crew out there if you're in tucson i i can train you locally uh, if you're in arizona it's a little bit easier to set up trainings get with me let's get people growing healthy plants and healthy soil